Hello friends, this video on fun with magnets part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 6. You are given an iron strip. How will you make it into a magnet? So basically this iron strip doesn't have a north and south pole. So to magnetize it, we take another bar magnet and then uh, place one pole of the bar magnet at the center of the iron pole and we keep rubbing towards one end of the uh, bar of the iron bar so this like from the north pole is rubbed from center towards one end similarly the south pole of another magnet will be rubbed from center to the other end and that is how we magnetize the two ends of the iron strip and it becomes a magnet so there are two different strategies by which we can do one is single touch the other is double touch so in single touch we make use of one magnet so first we uh, rub its north end north pole from center to one end and then we rub its south pole from center to the other end and in double touch we make use of two magnets and simultaneously we rub north pole of one magnet and south pole of another magnet from center to the two ends and we repeat this process of rubbing quite a number of times. Only then magnetization happens. Question number seven. How is compass used to find directions? Now the compass has a magnetic needle inside it. So the needle has a red end and a blue end which denotes the north and south direction. So if this needle is left to itself, it will always align in the north-south direction. So if you know the north-south direction, you'll be able to find out the other directions. Right? And whenever you bring it near any other magnet, the needle tends to deflect. That is because of the attraction experienced by the other magnet. So basically the alignment of the magnetic needle helps the compass to show directions. Question number 8. A magnet was brought from different directions towards a toy boat that has been floating in water in a tub. Affect observed in each case is stated in column 1. Possible reasons for the observed effects are mentioned in column 2. Match the statements given in column 1 with those in column 2. Boat gets attracted towards the magnet. So if boat is getting attracted towards magnet, attraction always happens with unlike poles. So that means they both have different poles. So what could be uh, the Possibility now boat is getting attracted to magnet. So magnet doesn't attract all materials. It attracts only magnetic material. So that means boat is made up of magnetic material. So this would be for the first one. Boat is not affected by the magnet. So that means the boat is not made up of non-magnetic material. So in that case the magnet will not attract it or neither will it repel it. Boat moves towards the magnet if north pole of the magnet is brought near its head. So what does this tell us? This tells us that the attraction happens when the north pole of the magnet is brought near. So now the north pole will always attract the south pole. So that would mean that the boat is fitted with a magnet with its south pole towards it, its head. So this would match to this. Boat moves away from the magnet when north pole is brought near its head. Now, since it is moving away when north pole is coming near, that means the boat also has a north pole. So, this would match to the first one. That is, boat is fitted with a magnet with north pole towards its head. Last one, boat floats without changing its direction. So, it doesn't change its direction at all. What does that mean? That means the boat has a small magnet attached along its length because the magnet will always align in the north-south direction. So, that there will be no change in direction and it will always remain aligned in that direction. So, with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on Fun with magnets brought fun to your life. You would have got to know what are these magical substances, why this attraction happens and what are the basic properties of magnet. So just try to look out for magnetic materials in your house. Just try to experiment out with the, the magnetic compass and uh, I assure you that it would be fun and it will be great learning as well. So hope this lesson would have helped you. See you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates.
थैंक यू वंस अगेन